If you want to know who you really are, how you die, how you love, and how you survive, you need to look at the red current rushing through your veins right now. It is a biological time machine. We are going to decode the eight distinct biological profiles of the human race. O positive, the primal engine. We begin with the O positive. This is the ancestral anchor. It is the most common blood type found in nearly 38% of humans because it is the genetic default. This is the blood of the hunter-gatherer the oldest metabolic signature we have. The superpower of type O is the Teflon shield. Your red blood cells are smooth. They lack the sticky A or B antigens on the surface. This slickness is a cardiovascular miracle. Your blood flows with less resistance, significantly lowering your risk of dangerous clots and heart attacks compared to the sticky blood of type A. Furthermore, Studies from the University of Sheffield have shown that type O individuals tend to have more gray matter in the posterior cerebellum. This suggests a neuroprotective buffer. While the AB types struggle with cognitive decline, the type O brain seems built to resist the decay of aging. You are the original model built for endurance. During the COVID-19, Type O individuals were repeatedly shown to have a lower risk of severe infection and hospitalization. The virus relies on clot formation and vascular damage to do its worst work. But to fuel a hunter's life, your body runs hot. Type O individuals naturally produce higher levels of stomach acid. This was necessary to digest raw meat and kill parasites in the Stone Age. Today, it burns a hole in you. Type O is the leading demographic for peptic ulcers and acid reflux. Your stomach is an incinerator that doesn't know how to turn off. Type O bodies don't just make more acid, they also release stronger hunger signals when protein is low. That's why type O individuals often feel anxious, shaky, or off when meals are delayed. Your nervous system still expects a successful hunt. Here is the secret variable that most doctors won't tell you. If you feel like mosquitoes hunt you down while ignoring your friends, you are right. It is not paranoia, it is biology. Controlled studies involving 80s Egypti mosquitoes have shown they land on type O individuals nearly twice as often as type A. Why? It's a trade-off. Your skin secretes a specific saccharide signal that acts as a biological beacon, telling insects you are tasty. But here is the evolutionary brilliance. While you get bitten more, you are statistically more resistant to severe malaria. The malaria parasite struggles to bond to your smooth, antigen-free blood cells. It cannot form the deadly clumps called rosettes that kill other blood types. You pay for your survival with itchy skin. O negative, this is the universal donor. This is the most valuable liquid resource in medicine. In a chaotic trauma bay, when a patient is bleeding out and there is no time to test their blood, doctors scream for O negative. It can go into anyone, AB, AB, positive or negative, without triggering an immune attack. It is the stealth bomber of blood. It slips past all defenses to save the life. But for the 7% of people who carry it, this altruism is a cage. We call it the one-way valve. You can save the world, but the world cannot save you. You can only receive O-negative blood. If you receive a positive type, your immune system will recognize the Rh protein as a hostile invader and destroy the transfusion. You are living in a supply chain crisis. For O-negative women, there is a profound historical risk. If an O-negative mother carries an O-positive baby, inherited from the father, her immune system may recognize the fetus not as a child, but as a foreign parasite. Her antibodies can cross the placenta and attack the baby's blood. This is called RH incompatibility. For thousands of years, this was a silent tragedy that ended family lines. Today, a shot called Rogam solves it, cloaking the baby from the mother's army. It is a reminder that your blood type was once a ruthless filter for who got to survive. A positive, the cultivator's shield. 
We leave the original blood and enter the first cities. A positive is the blood of the agrarian revolution. It flows through about 34% of the world. This blood type appeared when humans stopped running and started farming. We lived in tight, crowded communities, knee-deep in livestock and waste. To survive this bacterial soup, the body created the A antigen. This is a sophisticated biochemical doorman that stands guard on your cells. It is excellent at identifying and fighting the infections common in crowded areas, like influenza. But this upgrade came with a massive trade-off. If type O blood is like water, type A blood is like syrup. You naturally have higher levels of the von Willebrand factor and other clotting agents. In 5000 BC, this was a superpower. If a plow cut your leg, your blood clotted instantly and you survived. Today, that same mechanism is a killer. It makes you statistically more prone to blood clots, deep vein thrombosis, and strokes. You are biologically wired to seal wounds that aren't there, turning your arteries into clogged pipes if you remain sedentary. But the most distinct trait of type A is chemical anxiety. People with type A blood naturally have higher baseline levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. But worse, when you get stressed, your body has a harder time clearing it. It takes you longer to calm down. It is like a fire alarm that keeps ringing for 20 minutes after the smoke is gone. In the ancient world, this hypervigilance protected the village. In the modern office, it leads to burnout and heart disease. You aren't just imagining that you are more stressed than your type B friends. Your cells are literally marinating in alarm chemicals. Let's talk about A negative. It is the shadow of the builder. Found in roughly 6% of the population, it shares the sludge factor and the cortisol echo of the A positive, but with the added danger of the RH deficiency. This is the fragile architect. You have the thick, stroke-prone blood of the farmer, but the limited donor pool of the negative types. The specific danger here is the intersection of stress and scarcity. Because A-negative individuals have that high cortisol response, their body is constantly in a state of inflammation. When you combine high inflammation with a limited ability to receive blood transfusions, you get a patient who is very difficult to manage surgically. There is also a new layer to this story that oncology researchers are just starting to map. Recent meta-analyses have suggested that non-O blood types, specifically type A, both positive and negative, carry a higher statistical correlation with pancreatic cancer and severe diabetes compared to type O. The theory is that the A antigen promotes a specific type of inflammation in the digestive organs that, over decades, can lead to cellular mutation. It is a trade-off. Your immune system fights bacteria well, but it struggles to police your own internal organs. AB negative, the plasma ghost, now coming to the anomaly. If humanity is a massive biological data set, AB negative is the glitch. This is the rarest blood type on Earth, flowing through the veins of less than 1% of the human population. In some parts of Asia, it is so statistically non-existent that doctors call it the panda blood. If you are AB negative, you are the biological ghost. You possess the newest genetic mutation in our history, a collision between the farmer, type A, and the nomad, type B, stripped of the RH protein. This makes you a medical paradox. Your red blood cells are the most exclusive club in the body. You can only receive blood from other negative donors. If you are bleeding out on a stretcher, you cannot accept blood from 95% of the human race you are walking a tightrope without a net. But here is the twist that keeps you valuable. While your cells are picky, your plasma, the liquid gold that carries those cells, is the universal solvent. Because you lack the antibodies to fight A or B markers, your plasma can be transfused into any human being on the planet. In burn units and shock trauma centers, AB negative plasma is treated like liquid platinum. You are the only person who can save everyone with your plasma, even if almost no one can save you with their cells. But this rarity comes with a hidden cost. We call it the gray fog. 
A massive longitudinal study known as the REGARDS study, Reasons for Geographic and Racial Differences in Stroke, followed over 30,000 participants. The data was startling. It found that people with AB blood types were 82% more likely to develop thinking and memory problems that can lead to dementia than people with type O. The mechanism? It appears to be linked to factor eight, a clotting protein that is naturally higher in AB blood. Over decades, this sticky protein acts like a microscopic kink in the garden hose of your capillaries, slowly reducing oxygen flow to the neural networks. You are the rarest version of humanity, but you must fight harder to keep your mind sharp. Now be positive, the Himalayan Sherpa. Now we shift to the mountains. Be positive is the badge of the survivor who walked the hardest paths. Found in roughly 9% of the population, this blood type lights up the heat maps of the Himalayas, the Ural Mountains, and the Asian steppes. It is the genetic echo of the nomad. If you are B positive, your ancestors were not sitting in cities. They were moving. They were herding animals across harsh, cold terrains. This history has given you a metabolic furnace. Unlike type A or O, who often struggle with lactose intolerance, type B evolved on a diet of cultured dairy and heavy meats. Your digestive system is chemically better equipped to break down fats and turn them into energy. But the defining trait of type B is the hair trigger immune system. Your ancestors were constantly exposed to new pathogens as they traveled. To survive, their immune system became aggressive. It shoots first and asks questions later. This makes B-positive individuals incredibly resilient to historic plagues like smallpox. However, in the modern sterile world, this aggressive system gets bored. When it has nothing to fight, it attacks you. This is why type B carries a statistically higher risk of autoimmune disorders like lupus, multiple sclerosis, and chronic fatigue. Your internal army is so powerful that it sometimes mistakes your own nervous system for the enemy. There is also a dietary trap here. While you can handle dairy, you have a specific weakness to lectins found in chicken and corn. Research suggests that these specific food proteins can agglutinate or clump together in type B blood, mimicking a slowed metabolism. If you are B positive and you feel tired after a standard chicken and rice gym meal, it's not the carbs, it's the chemistry. B negative, the phantom nomad. If B positive is the traveler, B negative is the hermit. Found in less than 2% of the population, this is one of the most isolating biological markers on the planet. If you have this blood, you are walking a medical tightrope. You carry the same aggressive immune profile as B positive, that hair trigger defense against pathogens, but you lack the protein shield on your red blood cells. In a trauma ward, you are a logistical nightmare. You can only receive blood from O negative or other B negatives. That is it. If you are traveling in parts of the world where this type is statistically non-existent, like parts of South America, a simple accident becomes a life or death lottery. The pathogen lockout. But there is a strange upside. Because B negative is so rare and structurally unique, certain modern viruses struggle to dock onto your cells. You are essentially running an operating system that is incompatible with the viruses designed for the masses. You are a biological unicorn, hard to treat, but hard to kill. A B positive, the modern chimera. This blood type shouldn't theoretically exist. It is not an environmental adaptation. It is the result of human migration and mixing. It is the universal sponge. Because you carry both A and B antigens, your body recognizes everything as self. You are the universal recipient. If you are bleeding out, you can take blood from the hunter, the farmer, the nomad, or the ghost. You are the safest person to be in a trauma center. But this acceptance comes with a Trojan horse penalty. Because your immune system is so welcoming to foreign blood, it is also welcoming to things it shouldn't be. We call this the open gate syndrome. A B types have a significantly weaker defense against specific cancers and viral infections 
because their immune system is less likely to flag invaders as alien. It's too tolerant. Your body is a sanctuary city that sometimes lets in the bad guys. The cardiovascular system of an AB individual is complex, and under the stress of creating life, it is statistically more likely to spike in blood pressure compared to the resilient O types. You are the newest model on the lot, but you haven't worked out all the bugs yet. Your blood type is not a horoscope. It is a blueprint. It determines whether your blood flows like water or honey, whether your immune system is a sniper or a bouncer, and whether you are a universal savior or a lone survivor. The O's are the anchors, resilient to malaria and cognitive decline, but prone to ulcers and bleeding. The A's are the builders, surviving plagues with their clotting ability, but crushed by modern stress and heart disease. The B's are the nomads, immune tough but prone to autoimmune friendly fire. The AB's are the hybrids, universal receivers who pay the price in cognitive clarity. We are all walking distinct evolutionary paths, carrying the scars and strengths of ancestors we never met. The question is, are you living in alignment with yours? I want to know where you stand in this evolutionary lineup. Are you the universal donor O negative or the rare biological ghost AB negative? Go down to the comments right now and drop your type. And tell me, did the mosquito magnet theory confirm a suspicion you've had your whole life? If you found value in decoding the invisible instructions written in your body, Make sure you hit that like button so we can keep making these deep dives.